What's up guys, EDA Talk Sports here and we've got some very, very exciting news for us to catch up on. Breaking in the last couple of minutes is the news that JJ Redick is officially going to become the head coach for the LA Lakers and I'm happy, I'm happy to be honest with you. I've been a big fan of JJ and I'm sure a couple other people have been a player, fantastic player, college player and pro but also as a as a personality watching him when he started his, his podcast journey while he was still playing was he was revolutionary in that space and so developed into a fan of his podcast all of the stuff that he does through his production company and through that lens i saw the basketball mind he is as he talked about he's a sicko he's a sicko when it comes to the game of basketball and he likes being surrounded by other sickos and he's got LeBron James there who is a basketball savant someone who he can blend with have ideas on and, and there are pros and cons and we're going to go through it one by one but I'm happy to see this move I'm happy to see a player that I watch play go into coaching and, and start to influence and bring new ideas and different coaching schemes and ideas and educate which he's already done with LeBron Mind the Game podcast which I really love just not for everybody but someone who has an interest on in learning more about basketball and more engaged in the game it was a great venue to hear LeBron talk about uh, concepts and plays and, and, and schemes and I, I loved it. And so the first pro at the moment with JJ getting hired is that him and his star player will have an excellent relationship. Him and LeBron will have a great relationship. They've already built one through the Mind the Game podcast. They obviously knew each other just by being in the NBA fraternity. Obviously JJ playing in the East for such a long time with Orlando, with Philly. So he'll have his, his knowledge of, of LeBron and, and what LeBron likes to do and LeBron will feel comfortable communicating it with someone he's played against. Same thing you could have said with Darvin Ham, but this seems to be a lot more of a closer relationship given what we've seen on screen and given what this decision being made. I'm sure it wouldn't have been signed off if LeBron wasn't happy. JJ seems to be someone that he's very comfortable in and believes in, in his coaching identity. The next con is obviously counter of that that him and LeBron have, have been so so close their relationship to a degree may be called into question by some of the media outlets if they lose with the Mind of Game podcast continue what impact will it have on if JJ can hold LeBron to a standard all of these questions will come out because their relationship has been exposed to a degree but for the betterment of the game and the betterment of people watching the game who want to learn more so again that's something that first take and undisputed and all of those media outlets will be focusing on as soon as the lakers don't produce and they don't perform so that's going to be very interesting in not only in the in the criticism that will come but also in how they respond to it so i think they're gonna to have to have a level of temperament a level of patience especially with a new head coach but that takes me on to my second positive and my second pro which is aj's never been a head coach before He's not been an assistant coach before in terms of it within the NBA. I know he's done some some things outside of that and with, with younger age groups. But this is a whole new way of thinking that the Lakers may not have been exposed to before because you look at Frank Vogel, you look at Darvin Ham, very much in the NBA consistently, their way of thinking may be slightly different to a new coach coming in, someone who's got fresh ideas, someone who's been watching from a bird's eye view who's been through all the data because he, he uses that data to prepare for his podcast he's watching the games he's doing color when when with espn play by play and he, he will know the league as well as anybody who's not been you know, directly in a team and he'll be coming with some fresh ideas and some i would say some non-negotiables on, on how he wants to play the game which he's spoken about as well there's there's some things which are mandatory for him he's spoken about Q, iq players with low iq not being palatable to a kind of a, a winning effort he also spoke about need for people to feel the game have a love for the game and I think if anyone's checking out on the Lakers and, and JJ's the coach that I expect him to be he's going to hold him to account because he he was meticulous in his preparation for games he's spoken about his pre-game routine and how he would be so meticulous with it I think he will, he'll, he'll expect to a degree and LeBron will expect, expect to a degree that same level of effort and energy from players on the Lakers Obviously, that lack of experience comes with issues within itself, how to deal with a large amount of players and groups. I think he spoke about it when he was applying for the Lakers job on discussing the Lakers job. 
back in 2022 stating officially that he's been in NBA locker rooms before he's comfortable with dealing with players and not running away from conflict which has probably been the case previously with such a big franchise and so that will be called into question as well these are things that we can't ignore these are things that we can't move away from and say AJ is someone that we know and he's going to perform these are challenges he's going to have to overcome for sure I'm very excited about him coming in I'm very excited about what it means to the Lakers I'm very excited to see who he's going to build his stuff around as Shams was talking about here who's going to be in his stuff I would love to see someone like Rajon Rondo come in who's in game again high IQ and can pour into these players as well it's going to be very interesting to see what happens the Lakers will to some become a sideshow and we'll be looking at the coach and the head player whenever things go wrong but I'm looking on the, the other side. I'm a big AJ Reddick fan, a big Le- LeBron fan, and who doesn't really recognise what the Lakers mean to the NBA. So that to me, guys, is going to be wrap up. Of, that to me, guys, is going to be the wrap up of the video. As mentioned, JJ Reddick, the new head coach of the LA Lakers, excited for next season. Let me know who you think he's going to build a team around. Obviously, we've got AD Bron. What's going to happen to D'Lo? What's going to happen to Rui? What's his ideas? Are we going to see the Lakers transform into a more three-point sh- uh, shooting team? Same way he built his identity. It's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, but again, the Lakers are, are, are an interesting team. And so we'll see how they build out their roster. We'll see how they build out their, their coaching staff. And we'll see how they prepare for the season. But JJ Reddick, the new LA Lakers head coach. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.